Non-weight bearing assessment of the forefoot to rear foot relationship in the frontal plane is a popular open kinetic chain patient assessment. Clinical test. With the subtalar joint held in neutral and the mid-tarsal joint fully pronated, the alignment and flexibility of the forefoot is compared to the plane of the rear foot. Alignment options include rectus, which is in plane, varus, when the first metatarsal head appears higher with respect to the fifth metatarsal head, or valgus, when the fifth metatarsal head appears higher with respect to the first metatarsal head. Flexibility options include flexible, when reducible under a plate flexion load, a flexible forefoot varus or forefoot supernatus is reducible under a plantar flexion load on the dorsal first metatarsal head. A flexible forefoot valgus is reducible under a plantar flexion load on the fifth metatarsal head, while rigid is non-reducible under plantar flexion load. A rigid forefoot varus is not reducible under a plantar flexion load on the dorsal first metatarsal head. Management options are dependent on classification as a flexible or rigid deformity, symptoms, pathological forces and treatment directed testing and may include physical therapies, footwear choice, prefabricated orthotics, or custom orthotics. Orthotic considerations include support for rigid deformities with forefoot extensions, or encouragement of flexible deformities into plane with various design options. For more information on Dollar Orthotics, visit dollarorthotics.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, or follow us on Instagram or Facebook.